In this video I'm going to show you how to fit an LED downlighter. This one is an Aurora PA16GU10, chrome plated and it has, if I push hard enough, there we go, you can see it swivels inside. So this one is slightly bigger, this requires a 90mm cutout hole in the ceiling. And I'm fitting this one in a bathroom. Now when you're fitting these lights in a bathroom, you have to make sure you know what zone it's in. Now this one isn't going to be in a splash zone, so this light's acceptable. But where I'm going above the shower, and I'm, and I'm going above my head here, yeah, I'm going to put in ones that are IP65 rated, which basically means they're, they're waterproof essentially, or showerproof. First thing to note, you'll see there, you get this cover, which is to strap your cables in. So you need to unscrew those. And by here, you'll have this little red bit, and whatever light you use, and we'll have something similar. This you just need to undo, and if you look inside, this is um, it's just a plastic screw. I don't know if you can see it there. And that screws into the hole, and inside you've got your connector block. So it's quite straightforward. As long as you've got your wiring sorted, this should go in no problem. We're going to connect the live to the live, neutral to neutral, earth to earth. And then if you look, from there, there's already an earth lead onto the light fitting itself, so you don't need to worry about actually earthing the casing because it's already done for you. All right, let's get on with it. I've zoomed in on the hole that I've already cut, and I'm gonna show you now using these, which are my cable snippers. These are CK cable snippers, and I'll review these in another video. You wanna get the end of your cable. Do that. You do the same again. And then just get your snippers, Get that little line where you want to make the cut, and there we go. I've got the exposed ends. We'll need some earth sheath to go over the end of this copper, and we'll take that to about there, and then we're ready to connect it into our light. What I've done in this is I've left plenty of cable here, so that if ever I have to mess around with it in the future, I can pull it down nice and low, so I'm not messing around up on a set of ladders. There's plenty of room in my ceiling, and I can pop that up there. Get our connector block, this side goes to the light, then you want to undo the screws in this side, not right the way out, but just far enough to leave a gap inside for your cables. Now, this cable is on the end of my run, so it's the last downlighter in my bathroom, so you've only got one cable. When I do the other two, you'll see that you've got a feed coming in, and you've got one going back out to the next downlighter. That's why I did now. You got your live. You can see I've put my little bit of earth sheath over there, and you've got your neutral. You slide the block the block back in, and this is very important. Putting this clamp back on the top. So what that does is secures it to the grey bit of cable. So if in the future an electrician comes out and wants to have a fiddle, if you're pulling this light down from the ceiling, is what you're doing is you're making sure you're only pulling on this, which is strong enough. Because what happened years ago and which doesn't comply with the regs anymore. You could have a connector block like that up in the ceiling, someone's wrapped it up with tape. Next thing, someone's yanking on it, one of these comes loose and you've got a problem. So, but with these little clamps now these days, really if you give that a little yank down, it's no problem. It's not gonna tear the cable out. Then you wanna locate the capping back over the top. And this plastic screw locates back into the hole. There you go, lovely. And slide this up into the ceiling now. Fold your pins up into the air. Slide this up. And you should have a nice seal. There's your down lighter in. That's all ready to go. Now it's on to the next one. Right, we've got one light, two lights, and then there's a third over there, which you saw me do earlier. The important thing is, before you put all this away and put them up in the ceiling, check that the lights are working. With this light, as explained earlier, we got two cables. We got one feed coming in from the previous light, and then we got one coming back out into the next light. So with these down lighters, like I say, they go into one, out to the other. So the one I fitted earlier is the end run, and that only has one cable because it's the last one, it's not going anywhere. 
So it's exactly the same the way you do it, but you just have two neutrals into the neutral, two Earths into the Earth, and two lives into the life. So you just join in the connection in and through to the next one. And that's it. So I'll put the covers on these now. So there you have the finished product. One light, two light, three light. I hope you found this video useful and just remember to do any of this electrical work you should be a competent electrician or qualified. Any electrical work in a bathroom or a kitchen is notifiable so this kind of work in a bathroom you'd either need to notify your local building control they can then send out an inspector for a fee or you can have a qualified electrician that's able to sign off the work on completion. For more DIY tips, tricks, how to and review please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been pacing around the house. Ta-ta, farewell.